Hello everyone, welcome to Colour in Easter. This is a three part look at the Easter story. Now, Easter is a very exciting time of the year and I wonder what your favourite part of Easter is. Now, could it be that you're on holiday from school? Mm, is that your favourite part? That is good, but is it your favourite part? Could it be going on egg hunts? That's always fun. If it's a nice day, you can go running around in your garden or in the park. Could it be maybe the Easter Bunny? Well, maybe, or maybe not, but maybe you like this Easter Bunny. You all know what this Easter Bunny is made of. But I think actually your favourite part of Easter is, I'm guessing anyway, Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes to get an Easter egg and dig into it uh, in Easter morning and enjoy some lovely chocolate. But Easter's a very special time of year for Christians because that's when we think about how Jesus died and rose again and that because of that, we can be friends with him. Now, some very clever people at Scripture Union Ireland, Scripture Union Scotland have got together and made these three short films called Colour in Easter. Now, they are short, about five or six minutes long. And uh, they tell us why we have Easter and what it means to you and me that Jesus died and rose again. So what's going to happen just in a sec? The film's going to start number one. And watch that. And then when it's finished, hang on, because there's going to be a little quiz all about what you heard on the film. And then later on, if you get time, if you get the chance, there's a little uh, resource sheet, worksheet type thing that you can use. It's got some puzzles and so on and helps you think a little bit more about it. So welcome to Colour in Easter and enjoy the first episode. See you in a minute. kinds of things throughout the year, like Christmas, ho, ho, ho. weddings, St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> Burns Night, our birthdays, Happy birthday! our dog's birthday, <laughs> and New Year's. But there's another celebration that I love that doesn't always get the same attention as the rest, and that's Easter. Maybe when you think about Easter, you picture the Easter Bunny or painting your egg masterpiece. But for me, there's one tradition that tops them all, and that's the chocolate. And my favorite is the iconic cream egg. But the question is, how do you eat yours? For me though, it's all about the Easter egg hunt. I don't really want the chocolate. What I want is the win. I want to find the most eggs. But what is the point of all of these traditions? Why has Easter been celebrated for thousands of years by people from all across the world? Where did Easter come from? Well, firstly, Easter is a massive Christian celebration that's just as important as Christmas. And like Christmas, to understand its origins, we have to go way back, like back to the very beginning. The Bible starts by telling us that God created the whole world and it was full of beauty and all kinds of incredible things. Then God created people, his friends, to help him look after the beautiful world that he had created. but sadly, they turned their backs on God. Instead of choosing to help God, they went their own way. And the beautiful world which God created was now filled with brokenness and all kinds of bad things. 
This damaged the friendship between God and people. But because God is a loving creator, he promised to rebuild what was broken. And that's why God sent Jesus to earth, which is what we celebrate at Christmas. Jesus, being both God and human, shows us what it really looks like to live in God's world. But more than that, Jesus came to restore the friendship between God and people. Throughout the eyewitness accounts in the Bible, we see that Jesus did so many incredible things as he journeyed with his friends. He healed a man's hand. He talked to people everyone else ignored. He miraculously fed over 5,000 people with only five loaves and two fish. And he even raised a young girl from the dead. Because of all these incredible things that Jesus did, he was being talked about everywhere. At the end of his journey, Jesus enters Jerusalem on a little old donkey. This was a bit of an unexpected entrance for someone claiming to be God. There was a massive crowd that gathered there to worship Jesus because they loved what he was doing and they followed him everywhere. But some people hated him so much that they plotted to kill him. But this was all a part of God's great plan. As Jesus sat with his friends one evening, he said to them, the greatest way to show love for friends is to die for them. This was incredible because Jesus was saying that he was willing to die for them and that everything that was about to happen to him was for a reason. He could have looked the other way and ignored the brokenness in the world, but because of his extraordinary love, God chose to rebuild what was broken. One night, just before he was arrested, Jesus was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was really struggling with what was about to happen to him. And as he was thinking about his death, the Bible says that he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. And it's not like his friends were on board with the idea either. When the Roman soldiers came to arrest Jesus, we read that his friend Peter reached for a sword and cut off a soldier's ear. But Jesus stepped in. Instead of joining Peter and fighting back against the soldiers, he healed the man's ear and he turned to his friends and said, don't you realize that I could ask for a thousand angels to protect us and he would send them instantly. Jesus had a get out of jail free card. He could have chosen to save himself if he had wanted to. But in order to show God's extraordinary love, he let it happen. He chose to surrender rather than fight. People have been expecting that Jesus would be the one who would rescue them. But now he's in chains, being taken away by the Roman soldiers. If Jesus is who he says he is, and if he really was going to rebuild what was broken, then how on earth was he going to do it? Hello again. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I thought that was really great. Lots of good things to hear about in there. Now here, as I was saying, is a little quiz, and this is going to help us think a little bit about what we uh, learned. So we're just going to go through the questions. Don't worry about writing them down. Just have an idea in your head what you think the answer is going to be. And when we've gone through just a few questions, we'll have a look at the answers together, okay? So here's question one. Which of these celebrations was not mentioned in the video? Was it Christmas? Mother's Day or Burns Night. Okay, so have a wee think about that and we'll move on to question two. The second question, Christians believe Jesus had to come because 
Was it God messed up when he made the world? Was it he wanted to become a famous superhero? Or God's perfect world became broken when people turned their backs on him? So have a little think about what you think the answer to that is. And let's move on. Jesus said that dying for someone was the greatest way to show what? Now there's no multiple choice here. So just have a wee think about what was said in the video about that. And we'll move on to the next question. Number four, Peter tried to defend Jesus and cut off a man's ear. What did Jesus do after that? I've got to tell you, this is one of my favourite stories of this whole part of the Bible. So what happened after Peter cut that guy's ear off? What did Jesus do? Next question. What did Jesus say that God could do to protect him if he asked? So Jesus said, if I wanted to, God could do... What was it? Can you remember? Let's look at the next question. Why were Jesus' friends upset that he'd been arrested? Well, that's not surprising, but what was the reason? Can you remember what they said on the video? Why were Jesus' friends upset? And here's number, oh, that's them all. So not very many questions, quite an easy quiz, I hope. Let's go through the answers quickly. So which one of these celebrations was not mentioned? It was, of course, Mother's Day. Hope you got that one right. Here's the next one. Christians believe Jesus had to come because God's perfect world became broken when people started messing up. God wanted to do something about that. Then he sent Jesus. Jesus said that dying for someone was the greatest way to show. Can you remember what that one was? Love, that's right. Well done if you got that one right. And... Peter tried to defend Jesus, cut off a man's ear. What did Jesus do? I love this story. Stop the fight, put the guy's ear back on. Now, what a great story. And what did Jesus say that God could do to protect him if he asked? This is also another really cool part of this story. Send a thousand angels to protect him. Imagine that. That would have been some sight to see. Jesus didn't do that because he wanted to go ahead and do what he had to do because he knew we needed him to do that to help us. And you're going to hear more about that as the films go on. And why were Jesus' friends upset that he'd been arrested? Because they thought he was going to rescue them. They didn't really understand what Jesus had come to do. And again, you're going to hear more about that in the next two films. And that is the end of that quiz. Well done if you did well in that quiz. Thanks for watching the first film. And I hope we'll look forward to seeing you for the second film whenever you get around to watching that in Colour and Easter. Thank you. God bless.